Hey guys, what's up? It's Jordan. I'm back at it again with another video. Anyways, for today's video, I'm going to be filming a 10 things to do in summer when you are bored. Um, I'm currently bored in summer. Um, I've been experiencing... I also can't speak English. Um, but I've been experiencing boredness. Um, so here's 10 things to do in the summer to cure that boredness. Without further ado, let's just get right on into this video. Alright you guys, so number one of the 10 things you should do in the summer when you're bored is go swimming or go to the beach. Like, go in water. Water. Um, yeah, but go swimming. It's pretty fun to do in the summer when you're bored. 21 Savage. I pull up and fuck on your daughter. Water. Yeah. Water. Right down. Water. Huh? Water. Okay. Water. What? Water. Number two is hang out with your friends. Considering we don't have school, it's so much easier to, like, have fun and hang out with your friends. So you should hang out with your friends. Number three is enjoy the scenery around you. I know that this one can be considered really simple, I guess. But if you're in a place that isn't normal, like you're not at home or whatever because it's summer, enjoy the area around you because it's so beautiful. You know what I mean? Number four. <coughs> Number four is go shopping or try to revamp like your style or something. I don't even know what revamp means and I still used it in a sentence. Um, you don't have to go spend tons of money on clothes. You could just go to the thrift store and pick out cool things and just try on new things and get out of your comfort zone when it comes to clothing. Number five is use your extra time, because you're bored obviously, to get fit and exercise and have a healthy lifestyle. Um, but yeah, just use it to work out or get fit. Number six is use the extra time to explore the areas around you. So you don't necessarily have to go on super long trips to like Paris or, I mean, you might live in Paris, but you know what I mean. But use it to go in like road trip areas, like places an hour or something like that away from you and just use it to explore. <laughs> Number seven is do something like start a YouTube channel or learn to take professional-esque photos. I don't know why I keep using the words esk, but um, just use it, use the extra time to do something you, you love to do and just follow through with that. And so you can really spend and invest time into it. Number eight is pretty basic and one that I do religiously. Um, watch YouTube and Netflix. You know, there's all these fantabulous movies and all these fan... Fa all these great YouTubers. Um, I've actually been really into watching Shane Dawson lately. I've been watching him so much, so often. So yeah, I watch YouTube and Netflix. Number nine is try new foods. I know that this one can sound kind of weird, but if you think about it, there's lots of delicious summer fruits and other stuff. Um, but you could just use the time to try new foods and go out of with out that boop and go out of your comfort zone when it comes to food guys i'm just editing this right now and i realized that i accidentally deleted the number 10 but number 10 was to go out and try to get a job hang out with your f find new people there earn some money and have fun there you know what i mean <laughs> well guys i hope you enjoyed that video Oh my god, I'm so annoying. Um, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I look like I'm naked. Um, <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, like and subscribe if you want to. Comment video suggestions so I can make videos that you want to watch. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's this video. And I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my god, <laughs> my rubber band just snapped. <laughs> Fun. Okay, bye. <laughs>